Yeah, proofread, proofread, proofread. So this is something that I, even I'm guilty of, uh, but we need to read our cases before we submit them just to ensure that there is a lot of uh, clarity and uh, context that we build and then there is coherence amongst all the sections uh, within the forms. So please proofread. So to all the entrants of the Future FE Awards, uh, I cannot stress enough, please, 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 Make sure that you read your cases before they're submitted. Make sure that your inside challenge objective are exactly what you thought of uh, for your case. Make sure that the way you're writing the case is for that particular category. And always make sure that you have your results in place, especially, uh, and have the right sources for them. So I, I cannot stress this enough. Um, what I would like uh, the future entrance to FE Awards would be to focus on your uh, product uh, proposition. Uh, what it is that your product is offering, what need uh, is it uh, fulfilling. And then think about the customers, uh, what benefit the customers are getting. So please do prepare campaigns and so on uh, with uh, the customers in, uh, in point and customers in uh, view so that uh, their effectiveness can be measured properly and that is what will make great stories to tell at FEs in future. Be very cognizant of what category you're entering in. Your campaign may be really good, but is it good in the category that you've entered it in? For example, if you have digital ki category mein enter kiya hai, and you're saying that you've spent so much money on TV, then how does that work? How effective was it in the category of digital? Or if you added it into disruptive marketing, was it truly disruptive? Yeah, it was a great idea, it was a great campaign, but was it disruptive? So these are the things that, you know, when it boils down to the final round, will really affect whether you win an award or not. So be very sure of the category. Basically, we have seen few cases in which we have seen there's a uh, very strong insights. But once it's come to ideation to life, so there uh, there's a few weak area which I think they have to cover up. My primary advice to the entrants for next year is to find the flow of your story. Some cases were very well written, while there were others which were terribly written. Uh, some good campaigns, good cases. Uh, by virtue of knowing the category or the industry. I'm, I'm aware that there were exceptional of, uh, efforts uh, uh, in the actual category, weren't really done justice to as far as their entries were concerned. So maybe seek professional help, take the workshops that FE offers, uh, the professional workshops that they offer help you come up with the right case narrative, uh, how to fill the case, how to understand different sections of it, and how to connect the dots. So one key mistake that a lot of entrants have made is they spell out a challenge, but they don't really connect the results or articulate the results clearly enough to the challenge they put in front of them. And although, you know, by debate or by further, you know, scrutiny, you are able to understand what was actually uh, the connection, but you can't leave that to the judges because the judges are generally, they're, they're, they're in a way looking for your mistakes. They're looking to find what's wrong with the case so that they know where you stack up in gold, silver or bronze. Because this is the second round, this is the final round. So here, you're stacked up against other entrants in the category as well. So there's by default, even if you're not comparing on, you know, on score terms, by default, we're perceptually measuring, okay, that entry we thought was exceptional and I rated it gold, so this entry doesn't really fit the standard of the gold entry. That's what's in one way going to help you really win next year. While writing the case paper, please be very critical of the category you're entering in. Uh, it cannot be like that, that you make one case paper and then that you use it for different categories. Please do not do this. Always look into the category descriptor and prepare your case accordingly. If you're entering in multiple categories, tailor it according to the category you're entering. Thank you. So one advice that I would definitely have for all the entrance, potential entrances is that sometimes you need to put your brand out there and. Uh, uh, take some risks, right? So, a lot of brands play it safe when it comes to creative uh, and they come up with great work nevertheless. But if you really want something to be truly memorable, 
uh, it has to sometimes expose you as a brand, as a company, what you stand for and you need to take some risks. They always pay off in these kind of uh, things, right?